What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy A9. So this is one of the four devices that got announced today, but I'm a little bit more interested in this one because this is the world's first quad camera smartphone on the market right now. We've got two, we've got three, now we've got four. Some might say that's a bit of an overkill, but what Samsung's doing here is we've got a wide angle lens, a standard lens, and a super wide angle lens in there as well. The main lens here is 24 megapixel camera capable of shooting a 4K video. On the front, we also got two, a 24 megapixel camera, again, for you selfie takers out there. That's excellent for capturing detail and more lighting when shooting uh, in low light situation. Uh, what else do we have here? On the back, we, got, we have fingerprint sensor on the back. You can also unlock this using your face as well. On the top there is where your SIM card tray goes and your memory card as well. This, inside this, you get a six gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage built in. You can expand that using a micro SD card up to 512 gigabytes. Uh, up front here, we've got full HD plus display, which looks vibrant and sharp. Something that we've come to expect on Samsung Galaxy smartphones now. In fact, comparing this to Samsung Galaxy Note 9, it looks a bit more whiter in comparison uh, to the, the kind of like hue that you get on the screen, the temperature rather that you get on the screen. Um, what else do we have here? We've got USB-C ports on the bottom there, 3.5 mm headphone jack, and your speaker, speaker grill as well. In terms of size, uh, in comparison, what I can compare this to is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in terms of how it feels and how it looks. This feels a bit lighter than the Note 9, but again, this, this is something that's built for those who like to consume content on the go, whether you're watching videos, doing your emails, whatever you want to do. You've got a large display to do that kind of stuff on the move. In terms of battery, you have 3,800 milliamp hour battery in there, so that should last you all day, and that in combination with the latest software on there, latest processor chip in there, should be optimized so you won't be draining your battery too much. You should be efficient enough. All in on overall, I think it's a great device. It feels nice and slick, it's slim. I like the color options. You got the bubblegum pink, you got caviar black, you got uh, lemonade blue as well, basically blue, black, and pink. I like the pink one, it's quite different and it's nice as well. Anyway guys, so let me know what you think in the comments below. All other information will be in the description area, so do check it out. In the meantime, I'm Tommy, you're watching Gadgets Boy. See you guys in the next one.